Hey there, welcome to the fifth installment of our The Struggle is Real series. This is a collaboration between myself and Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates. And today we're gonna look at the mother of all Struggle is Real exercises, um, Tree on the Short Box. And this is another one that not many people enjoy initially or ever. Um, I have one client who just, it's her, just her favorite exercise, she's a little crazy, and she can't understand why everyone does not love this exercise. And um, so, you know, it's, it's nice to have at least one person that really, really quite loves you and the exercises that you make them do. Um, so I've got my reformer all set up for the tree. I have two springs on, my foot bar is down. I've got the short box, a pad to sit on, and a pole. Uh, this is in place for the exercise. Uh, we're not going to use it, obviously, in the tree. And I have my straps ultimately set up for short spinal massage, which will follow the, the short box series. So a word about your straps. I feel like this video might turn into a rant about pet peeves in this exercise, so please bear with me. The reformer should have two, I repeat, two straps for your feet. Each strap should be independent. You should have two dog clips. I'm gonna say that that's what those are called, the double clip clips. Um, two of them and two straps. So each strap has its own clips. And I know this seems like it's a strap, it's saving you from falling, what's the big deal? But this is also your teacher. And this is also giving you feedback about how well you're doing in the exercise. So let's talk about this first. Um, oh, you know, so this is a pet peeve, not necessarily about the tree, but about the short box in general, but it does apply to the tree. See, I just can't stop myself. So when you have both feet underneath, your job is to root your lower body like you're standing with only the support of these flimsy little straps. You don't get anything to push on, your feet are hanging out in the air, and this is your quest, this is your challenge, to anchor and, and basically support this entire beautiful series with this sturdy, rooted lower body doing all of your work for you. The part that you're sitting on doing that is doing nothing, that's what's doing all the exercise. So, if you don't have the, cl the clips, two clips, two straps, this, this is designed so that if your connection falters and you move, this makes noise to alert you that you're not working as much as you could. And with less clips or one strap, you lose that feedback. And so you want this to be such a sensitive barometer that it tells you every little thing that's going on that could be better inside you. And if you take that away, it, it does change and alter your experience of the exercise. So that's the end of my rant about how many straps there should be for the short box series. And now that there's gonna be only one foot in the strap, it's gonna apply, but not right away. Okay, so back to the tree. This exercise demands uh, that all of the back of you be flexible and open and supple, and it's building that in there, and even the most flexible people, this exercise feel, makes them feel quite inflexible. So you'll start, you know, you've done your hug, your reach, your side to side, your twist, and then you'll sit up with one leg. And Keep your posture as tall as it was in the previous exercises and just extend your leg out as much as you can do it without letting your back sink or be compromised. Even if you stretch your leg and it doesn't get all the way straight, that's perfectly fine. You're building, you're using your stomach to support the weight of your leg in space. And then you'll walk your hands out to wherever you can reach on your leg, as far out as to the ankle if you can. Which brings me to my other <laughs> pet peeve in this exercise. So even if someone is very, very inflexible and they can only reach, you know, their leg is bent, they're down here, they can reach only to here, let's say, they're getting a mother of a stretch, I'm sure. And the point is that just like our other exercise that we did a couple weeks ago, the stomach massage, 
This is building on that skill of sitting and reaching and lifting yourself, your waist, to reach all the way to your ankle. And so maybe they start and they're here, but they're reaching as far as they can. Keep that activity, even if it's unpleasant and uncomfortable with them, try not to give them something to make it easier, like a magic circle so that they can put it on their foot and hold their hands here and sit up. Because then this part, this lift goes away. Their leg gets straight, but keep thinking that the tree is more about your back and not only your back, but your back of your body versus stretching the back of your leg. You're looking for all of it to get open and stretched, but mostly your back. So care about that even more than what their leg does. So let's say we're going back to the guy that's here. <laughs> So he tips back. Why did I make it a guy? <laughs> there are tight women too. <laughs> and so you're gonna have them climb, lower themselves and climb down. And then they're gonna pull their stomach in away from that tight strap. And they're gonna try to keep it tight and stretch and reach toward their ankle. And they're gonna do it a few times. And then finally, they're gonna keep their leg as straight as they can. They're gonna pull their stomach in away from the strap and they're going to try to lift themselves their waistline toward where their hands are and that's going to make this part open up a lot versus letting them kind of sit up into safety and relaxation shall we say um so the there's a lot going on you know there might be some like hip thing going on or whatever Try at first just so they're not hurting themselves and they do the exercise. That's kind of all you care about at first. And then as they get better and better, you can start to, you know, pick your moments during this exercise. Let's do the other leg. <laughs> so let's say they get better. And then they can lift themselves. So they're already getting the lift in their body that they need so that when they get back here, they're not, they're lifted to their leg. They're not collapsed and hanging on their leg. And then they can keep their lift on the inside and climb down. And then they can reach, pull their stomach away from their strap and climb back up. And then they can keep their stomach pulling away from their strap and go back down and then come back up. Often it happens that people that hang on their leg, when they climb down, their back's doing a little collapsing thing that doesn't feel so good and may perhaps prohibit them from going all the way down. So I find that if they can start with a lift sitting upright, sometimes they can carry it through so that they keep that low back open and spacious so that then they can negotiate and go further and ultimately all the way down. So that they get that nice lift that kind of, kind of takes them over the hump, shall we say, of that low back area. And here's where you really want to use your strap and keep it tight if you can. I'm going to do it one more time on the other side. And when you're just sitting up, you know, you're not in danger of falling into the well. So the strap is really not tight at this point. It's only when you get into your position that you want to make sure it's tight. And this exercise, I get a lot of questions about, oh, this feels really stretchy. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, a, a lot of questions about the person who is very, very stiff and tight and what to do about sh spine stretch on the mat. Does this look familiar? <laughs> so spine stretch on the mat. Pardon me person is sitting and they have to lift their back and reach forward just like the tree. <laughs> so
So this is a wonderful place to prepare them. If you see that their spine stretch looks terrible and you want to do something about it, that's, that's one of the reasons that you want to make sure that you don't give anyone any help to hold them, to stretch their leg without caring about the back of them. Because eventually they're going to have to do spine stretch and open leg rocker and the teaser and all things that are lifting up. Um, there's a wonderful quote that I, <laughs> that I loved so much that I heard Jay Grimes say. And of course, when I heard him say it, I had to write a blog post. I'll include that in the block box below. But, the, but one day he said, the entire mat is in the short box. And I know we didn't do the, all of the short box, but the tree, a lot of the mat is in the tree as well. And I just, I love the mat. So when I heard that, I was like, oh, oh, that's like a little quest to go on. So I'll include that blog post as well. And um, if you have any questions about anything else that I didn't talk about about the tree, do leave me a comment below. If you want to see other uh, variations of what to do when your tree gets better, um, let me know, or other places to work on your tree. And I would say to that, I'm going to say that answer already, um, work all of your exercises that precede the tree, of course, because we already talked about stomach massage being a little bit of a, a foreshadowing of the tree and of the short box. And there's also a wonderful place that you can get all of the stretching of tree without the being on the box precarious balanciness of it. Um, and that is to do the ladder stretches at the, on the ladder barrel, which are just standing stretches. They, they're a little more um, pedestrian feeling to uh, people that might not like this exercise. I'm not saying don't give them this exercise, but you could sort of do the ladder stretches either at the beginning or the end to kind of help them get the same kind of stretch that they get in the exercise that maybe they don't like so much. Although, you know, maybe they don't like that one either. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye. Hey there. If you'd like to experience some of these tutorials and ways of looking at the exercises in person and you're in the San Diego area, please come visit me at my Friday Teacher Lab class. I have one each month and I'll include the link to register in the box below. I'd love to see you there. I limit the space to five people and so there's always a lot of time for questions and working through exercises and strategizing with other teachers and other kinds of bodies. It's nice to see the same exercise on many different people. Um, Thank you so much, and I hope to see you, San Diego. Bye. Is that often during the stomach massage, the pants come off. And I actually have a video about that that I'll include in the info box below. It's on Pilatesology, and it's called How to Keep Your Pants On in the Stomach Massage Series. But I'll just mention, if you're using all the things you should be using, your bottom, your stomach, 